Hi everybody, it's Jennifer McCreeth. It's Wednesday, August 12th, 2015. Just wanted to turn the camera on and talk a little bit today about uh, the media reaction to the coverage we saw of the Avalon candidates yesterday. Yesterday the incumbent, who's now an independent, announced that he will seek re-election even though he was thrown out of the Liberal caucus. Um, NTV came to the other two uh, candidates forward, uh, Ken McDonald representing the Liberals and myself, Jennifer McCreeth, representing Strength and Democracy. They did not actually interview the other candidate, the Green Party candidate. Um, now today I see CBC has done a big spread on Ken McDonald, asking him all sorts of questions and giving him all sorts of publicity about yesterday's announcement. Let's take a look here. Scott Andrews' controversy will not be campaign issue, says Ken McDonald. There's Mr. McDonald. On and on and on, on and on and on. I won't make it part of my platform to talk about Scott Andrews. Whatever happened, happened. If anyone wants to find the true story, tell them to ask Scott. And that's, you know what, a great road to, to take, and that is what I want to do today. Yesterday, I voiced my opinion about what I thought about Scott Andrews' candidacy. Um, I perhaps said what nobody else had the guts to say. Um, I meant what I said, but again, now I'm taking the high road as well. I, I'm going to follow Ken's approach. I don't see it as a campaign issue for me. Um, I know Scott's got some supporters. And I know that those people are going to vote for Scott, and there's nothing I can do to convince them to vote for me, so that's fine. You people go ahead. Same with Ken. I know he's got a small contingent of supporters there. Um, so likewise, I'm not necessarily looking to say anything bad about Ken and his campaign. I'm moving on. Um, I don't necessarily consider those two to be threats to my campaign because I'm focusing on different targets, different issues, different people, different voters, different demographics. Um, once again, I will say it's disappointing that CBC doesn't seem to want to interview me or cover me as a candidate. Um, meanwhile, I've got national media reaching out to me. We've got the Canadian press, we've got the Globe and Mail, we've got Yahoo Canada, we've got CBC Quebec calling me. So. It is what it is. I don't know if Stephen Harper is running the CBC Newfoundland, but uh, I'm uh, going to make... I, I perhaps think that that's a sign that maybe Stephen Harper sees me as more of a threat. I don't know. Anyway, um, I wanted to be open about this campaign, and but I am not going to answer any more questions or make any more comments about Scott Andrews. Um, much like Ken McDonald suggested, if you want to talk to, to Scott about those issues, you go right ahead. I've already made it clear I don't think he's suitable for public office, and I'll leave it at that. Um, I have met Scott, and uh, the one time I did meet Scott, we had a nice chat. Uh, seems like a good guy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, I'm focusing now on me and my campaign, and strength and democracy, and putting forward what we want to accomplish, which basically is reaching out to you people as citizens of Avalon. We're not here to throw party lines or party policies at you. We want you to tell us what the issues are. We want you to tell us what the solutions are. And we pledge to do whatever we can to collaborate and work with anybody out there, no matter who forms government. So We'll leave it at that. I'm Jennifer McCreeth. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you'd like to see CBC pay attention to me and not just the other candidates, uh, let them know that you're disappointed. Because I think it, they're doing a disservice by not reporting on all the candidates. Anyway, I'm Jennifer McCreeth. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day.